So this video is sponsored by Fluke, who sent me a nice selection of items to check out. So what we're going to look at in this review video is these items here. I'll be looking at this multimeter later on in a separate video because I need to do all the testing on it, check its accuracy and stuff like that. Put it on my calibrator, on my various references and things like that. I was going to go through the, the works with it like I've done with all the other meters. So my playlist for the multimeters is available and you'll be able to see it in that playlist once I've actually done this review. Or you can always subscribe and you'll get it straight away as soon as I've actually did a review video. But this time we're going to look at these things. So they sent me two of these tea packs, which I actually asked, asked for two, because these are really handy things to have. So it's very generous of them. So obviously I paid nothing for these. This is at no cost to me for the purpose of review, just to be completely clear. So let's open this up. So this is the tea pack. Instructions on how to use it. And I had to assemble it. So it's basically a strap, and you've got this magnetic hanger here, which is on a slightly flexible piece. That's nice. Don't forget to click like if you like review videos. So we've got two straps here. Let's look at this first. So we've got a narrow one and a wide one. So I think these are for different kinds of meters. So I'm just looking at the back of the box here. So this like the narrow one is meant for the clamp meters and stuff like that, which is a narrow format with the leads coming at the end instead of a full blown multimeter. So I think it's really meant for that one. So I don't think we need that one for this particular situation, but I think we've got this one for what we need. And it's got these two different hangers. So it's also got, not only has got a magnetic hanger, which is super handy. It's also got this hook hanger, which I think that would be really handy as well, actually. Because sometimes it could be like a wiring loom, you hook onto that. Nothing magnetic to hang on to sometimes, you know, because you've got plastic panelling or whatever. Or maybe you could hook it onto a plastic panel. So having a little hook hanger, that's also super handy. So that's good. So this piece here is what goes on the meter. So let's put this up. This is looking like it's pretty straightforward to set up. So I'm going to put both hangers on here. Both these hanging devices, I should say. So I'm going to put them both on. Because you never know which one you're going to need to use. That. and then loop this around through here which you also use the hanger in itself its own right and then feed that through there and loop it back over there's that okay so what it should allow us to do if I put it on correct around I may or may not have done actually I may not have done I have not I put the hook on backwards I shall fix that so you go I've just changed it around I'll just swap the loop around on, it, on this piece so a lot of these fluke multimeters have got this rubber holster, or something like it, which have got this standardized connection on it. So it means you can get this, hook it into your holster, and that's it. Straight away, you've got a hanger. Very handy to have. I've got another multimeter here in my drawers here, which has got a hanger as well. And that's been super handy, which is why I actually requested this from Fluke, because I knew how handy these are. And there's been times I've, I've actually been using this multimeter somewhere, and I, I wanted to hang it on something. I didn't have any way of hanging it. So now I actually have a solution for that. So I'm really happy about that, obviously. Brilliant, thank you much Fluke. And Pomona. Pomona is actually the company which organised this. I've got a contact at Pomona who sent me various test leads and bits and pieces in the past and they arranged previous Fluke reviews as well. Pomona and Fluke are like sister companies, they're sort of hand in hand, part of the same organisation I suppose. My contact there has kindly arranged with Fluke to send me these bits like this Fluke 175 here. This is one of the review items they sent me as well. And this has been a great meter. I've been really liking this one. That's been brilliant. Thank you much. Pomona and Fluke. Both of those companies have been very helpful to me and sending me these items, which has been great. So I'll give you an example of how strong this magnet is. I've just got this. This is my PSI cutters. These aren't particularly special. Stuck it on there. No worries. And that's actually quite hard to pull off. So a nice strong magnet in that. That's really good. Let's have a look at this soft case. So these are dimensions here, so it's 7.6 inches by 5.1 inches by 1.6 inches deep, or centimeters is 190 by 130 by 40. So it's supposed to be compatible with the Fluke 20, 70, 100, and 170 series DMs. So I've got two of these 100 series DMMs, and I've also got the 175, which is part of the 170 series. So they've got different cases for different size meters. I think they have some smaller ones as well, and some larger ones for the other meters. So, so you've got a pouch here for putting your leads in, and a actually a holster type arrangement in there so you can get your meter and slide it in there and that way when you open it it doesn't fall out um, I might take my magnetic clamp off here there we go so I'll take that off there 
so it's quite well padded as well so it's got extra protection for the meter also if you wanted to you could shove it in there keeps room in there that's nice so I wanted this so I could actually keep a multimeter in the car because I often have a multimeter with me basically everywhere I go I've got a multimeter I've always got one it's amazingly handy <laughs> having one on hand comes in useful so many times even if you're not doing electrical stuff or electronic stuff full time just generally day to day stuff the amount of times I've needed a multimeter I've been out somewhere and, I'm, and a situation comes like having a multimeter would have been really handy right now and so I always keep one in every vehicle I've got I keep a multimeter so I actually wanted these bags well one of these bags at least to be able to keep a meter in my vehicle without worrying about the meter getting damaged so uh, that's the plan there I mean, like this, you could also probably use it in the bag, maybe. You probably could use it in the bag, actually. Without him taking out the bag. You can get to the meter points there. You can get to the knob. That's certainly usable in the bag, I think. I think you could actually do that quite easily without taking it out. Another bonus. And obviously, you can put your leads in here. So there's links down below for the bag and for this hanger. And there will be an answer for this meter as well. I did a review for that. So make sure you check those links out if you're interested in these things. I do have a selection of these bags, different sizes. So make sure you choose the one which suits your meter if you're going to be buying one of these bags. If you don't have a Fluke meter, buy a Fluke bag to go with it because you'll look much cooler. Thanks a lot Fluke and Pomona for the review items. Really appreciate the effort and the support you're giving me. And the fact that I can share these with my viewers. It's brilliant. Really enjoy that. Very happy about that. So don't forget to click like and subscribe and click the bell icon if you're not already subscribed. And I'll catch you next video. Bye.